It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. Canelo exposed by Bivol probably presents something that the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of Canelo exposed by Bivol subscribers. Now, I wanted to talk about the young man, Evan Holyfield, who uh, suffered a setback last night uh, in his career. You know, Evan Holyfield, a uh, guy that I, 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 have, I still have high hopes for, but for those that know, for those that don't know, Evan, Evan Holyfield, the son of of Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. He's, he was a 9-0 prospect. He had his 10th pro fight last night on uh, the undercard of Kovalev versus Tavel Pulev on Triller. And it ended in very devastating fashion as he was knocked out emphatically in the first round by um, by very tough journeyman. I've seen him fight a couple times. Uh, Jermaine McDonald. So, hey, credit to Jermaine, Jermaine, Jermaine McDonald. I hope this gets him more paydays and, and, and him more opportunities to, to continue fighting and making a living for himself. And his family, if he has any, because it's it's, it's not easy being a journeyman, and, and and he earned a victory over a, a good, young, strong, undefeated opponent last night. So please make sure boxing takes care of Jermaine McDonald because uh, he deserves all the credit, all the praise, and all the uh, adulation for what he accomplished last night. But getting to Evan Holyfield, right? I made a video earlier in the week, uh, you know, a follow-up video to a, a interview that I did a couple months ago with boxing reporter and writer Damon Gonzalez, who stated that. He believes that the next big fight in boxing will be Evander, uh, Evan Holyfield versus Xander Zayas at 154 in three years. Now, hate to say, I hate to break it to Damon, but that timetable is probably a little bit thrown off now because uh, Evan got knocked out. But look, um, it's not the end for Evan. You know, he's young. Um, plenty of guys have been knocked out early in their career. Like you talk about guys like uh, or lost, like guys like Klitschko got knocked out in early in his career. Bernard Hopkins on his pro debut. A lot, a lot of guys have lost early in their career. Um, and have went on to have great careers. Now, I've been, I've known Evan Holyfield for six years. I've been, I've been covering him since 2016 before he even won the Georgia Golden Gloves. There's footage here on this channel of him hitting the punching bag at uh, when he was young. So I, I know what kind of fighter he is. I know what kind of talent he possesses. And I still think he has in him to be a top contender and potentially a world champion. Um, you know, it's boxing, right? You get caught by a shot. Um, and your whole life can change. One one punch could turn you go can turn you from a zero to a hero, and from a hero to a zero, and and that quickly. So uh, Evan Evan look Evan has to work on a lot of things. I think he needs to work on uh, getting his hands back to uh, in position because that's what caused the knockout in the first place. He had he had he had a very bad lapse, but it doesn't mean he's a shit fighter. It doesn't mean he's a a horrible fighter or anything like that. He's young. He's learning, and I and I and I truly believe. Because if you go on Twitter and you, and you look at his tweets and you see how, how he, he's reacting to it all, he's taking it all in like a champion. Um, he's not making excuses. He's not saying he had a bad camp. He's not pointing the finger at anybody else. And that's like the mark of a guy who can be a champion. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next to Evan Holyfield because to me, uh, things don't really start when you win. Really, things really start in your career when you lose. So uh, we'll see what he's made of as he goes forward. And it's like the same thing. Like he ain't the only friend that I had that lost last night. My other friend... Uh, Eric Lances Jr. He fought on the undercard uh, versus what was the guy's name? Jerry Jerry something. The, the dude he fought was Jerry something. He uh, and Eric. To be honest with you, I, I love Eric. He's my friend, and I want to see him do well. But you look at his career. Eric Lances Jr. Jr. He's had like ten fights. About seven of them were in Colombia. So really, he's only had maybe two or three professional fights because all all that Colombia shit. When when fighters go to Colombia and the Dominican Republic to fight early in their career, that shit don't really count. You know, it's just fights to build your record up and pad it up and shine it up real nice. And he fought a guy um, last night whose last fight was against Frank Martin, who's one of the top 135 pounders in the world as far as um, talent goes. And, you know, that guy got knocked out on seven against uh, Frank Martin. But he had that experience of fighting a guy like Frank Martin, so it helped him a lot when he fought Eric. And when Eric uh, fought him, he got stopped in five rounds. So, look, it's it's not uh, the end of the world for either one of these two young guys. It's not the end of the road for uh Evan Holyfield, it's not the end of the road for Eric Lances Jr. Both these guys can still come back and, and make careers for themselves. They just have to really get the proper experience, uh, make the proper tweaks to their style, and, and, and they'll be people that boxing fans uh, a, a lot will want to come and watch fight and tune in to see fight, you know? But um, that's what it is. I, I just wanted to give that dude, dude this little video because a lot of times in boxing, when, when fighters lose early in their careers, 
you know, people can kick them while they're down and say that they're not going to be shit and things like that. But that's not the truth. The truth of the matter is anybody on any given night, irrespective of what, 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 what you think or what a, a journeyman's record may look like or what a contender's record may look like, a anybody can lose on any given night. And I think for these two young men, for Evan Holyfield and Eric Lances Jr., two talented fighters, two friends of mine, I think for both of them this week that um, this is a, gr a great reminder for them of that and they're great examples of that. And they could also be great examples depending on how they handle this situation on how you come back from a loss. So I'm looking very forward to seeing what happens in the careers of uh, of Evan Holyfield and Eric Lances Jr. because uh, they're both talented in their own right and they both have something very unique and interesting to give the sport of boxing. So uh, I'm looking forward to them evolving and showing the world what, 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 what they're made of in here. So you guys leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys Take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button, and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today, hit that subscribe button, take care and God.